In today's Fent how-to video, I'm going to show you how to transfer field settings from one tractor to another. A few examples of when you might want to do this is A, if you own multiple Fent tractors and want to share field names, boundaries, way lines, markers, etc. from one tractor to another. Or B, maybe you've traded your tractor off on a new unit and you want to transfer your settings to the new unit. Or C, maybe you have a fleet of two or more units operating in the same field, where one operator can enter the field, create a field name, create a field boundary if needed, create a wayline. These settings can easily be swapped to other tractors so all the data keeping matches and most importantly so the tractors can utilize the exact same wayline in the field. First step is to install a USB into the Vario terminal. When you're inserting the USB into the Vario terminal right here, be careful not to release this cover under its own spring as it's, the spring is fairly powerful and when it hits the USB it can damage the port here in the terminal. So first of all, our terminal here is not at our main menu, so we have to get there. So the easiest way to do that is over here on the external keys to push this house. Our terminal now goes to the main menu. First thing that we do is we go to the administration menu. Then we go to administration main menu. Now we press data exchange, which is the USB symbol. And here we can see our fields that are stored within this Vario terminal you have the option to transfer all the fields or a single field at a time. If you want to transfer all the fields, what you do is you simply touch this button right here with the three downward pointing arrows. If you want to transfer one field at a time, you select the field that you want, and then you press the single down arrow. And what that does is it transfers these fields from the tractor to the USB down here. So we'll go ahead and we'll transfer all the fields in this case. Here it pops up a message and it asks us if we want to transfer the worked area of these fields. So that's the green painting that happens when you're working the field. So you can say, yes, you want to export the worked area. We want to export the worked area for all of the fields. We do not want to export the worked area for this particular field, or we do not want to export the worked area for all fields. In this case, we will pick export worked area for all fields and I'll hit the check mark. Now you can see that those, those fields have been transferred to our USB. So now we want to unplug the USB from the Vario terminal and move to the tractor that we wish to upload the field settings to. Okay, so now we're in tractor number two and we're going to transfer from our USB to the Vario terminal. So we do the same steps as before, just kind of in reverse. So now we're going to enter the USB. Again, being careful on this flap. Now we go to Administration menu, Administration main menu, Data exchange, and now we see the fields on the USB. So we do the same process as before. Now if we want to transfer all of these fields to the tractor, we press the three arrows to that are pointing upwards to the tractor. Transfer's done. Now if we want to enable these fields, what we do is we go back to our home menu, we go into our Vario guide, we go into our fields, we click on this white box right here, now we pick the field that we want to use. We'll pick the north quarter. It shows our field, it shows our boundary, it shows our way line, and it shows us a marker if there's one that exists. So now if we go back to our home screen and we pull up this map in full screen mode, we can see our field, our field boundary, our marker, and our fields. That wraps up how to transfer field settings from one tractor to another. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see in future videos, please leave a note in the comments.